welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the last race of the season. And as it's the last race of the season, we've actually got a lot of work to do before we go and hit the circuit. We need to prepare for our next episode, which will be spending a lot of money on our team. We've got nine days on our activity timeline to go and fill up, and I found some really, really good options. Vehicle PR filming for four days, that gives us 750 team acclaim, which is huge. Let's also go and chuck three days on our chassis department focus just so we get a little bit of a boost there and aero department team building why not after that we can move over to the facilities where we do have almost 5.5 million bucks but we know we want to save some of our money for the future because we want to sign a new driver as great as Mick Schumacher's been this season honestly he's been a little bit of a hindrance more than he's been good so we will be finding somebody new for next season and I like this six million dollar mark. I don't know exactly who we're gonna sign just yet, but please let me know in the comments down below who you think we should sign for season two. So we will save our money and move over to the R&D department. If we jump into the R&D tree, we've got 1,500 resource points left to spend. We've already adapted all of the parts that we've had to for our second season, so we can go back in and continue our regular upgrades. So let's go with this, a major downforce up. Why not? And with all of that stuff out of the way, I think we are ready to hit the circuit for our final race in season one. So let's advance some time. Nothing too crazy should be going on. We might actually get one little engine upgrade. There we go. It gets tossed onto the car. So nothing too crazy there. We pick up an achievement and we arrive in Abu Dhabi for our final race. So welcome to Abu Dhabi, the final race of the season. This is is definitely not one I want to bottle today. Like I've been saying, we need some serious points out of today's race. We will constantly be checking in with Jeff throughout the entire race to see what place we are in, in terms of like the constructor standings. That's assuming we can even get into the points in the first place. That starts today though. We need a good qualifying. I must say though, the problem with this circuit is it's a pretty tough one for me. Over the past couple of years in F1 games, we struggle around here. I've driven around this circuit so many times, but for some reason, I, in an F1 car, I can't nail it. Maybe today, though, is gonna be the day we put that to an end. Let's go, final corner, make it nice and smooth, short line. We go P5, 1.4 seconds off the Mercedes G's. Well, let's skip ahead in time a little bit. Let's see where we stand in a moment. And oh boy, I hope we're not too far down in the path. Unlike last time though, I've come out on the circuit with plenty of extra time. So no issues like last time in qualifying. We have dropped down to P16. I need one hell of a lap. Let's do it, no talking. We're green, but not by very much as we come around the final corner. 0 0.6, 0 0.7 seconds, hopefully moves us up a couple of spots. We were in P16. Pop me into the points, please. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I need. Look how close it is between P7 and P15, P16 even. That is crazy, we got so lucky. I've just gotta hold that now for P7. We are behind Danny Rick. I, I, I don't even think P7's enough. I think we need to get Danny Rick and just hope one of the Mercedes, the Ferrari boys blows up their car in today's race. I, I don't know what'll happen though. So let's take a look at the starting grid for the final race of the season. Valtteri is gonna lead us away, followed up by Sebastian Vettel in P2. Louis Lewis chucking it up to P3. He probably won't be very happy with that, honestly. We jump up to P6. Somebody has a penalty out there. It is Max Verstappen. Both of the Red Bulls out of our way is super good news for us. Mick Schumacher starting up in P16 would be great if he could get an extra point or two. And both of the McLarens picking up penalties. I, I think we might be able to do something here. That's insane. So today's race is another two pit stop strategy softs until lap seven where we jump on the mediums until lap 17. It's very likely we will get a safety car out here today. So that strategy might change up a little bit, but 
Let's see what we got. Without further ado, though, let's go for the final time. Lean revs, clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We've already got the run on Daniel Ricciardo, who spun his wheels like mad off the line right there. And then we get both of the Ferraris, who must be doing something funny with our engine, because instantly, P6 up to P3. <laughs> How? That was ridiculous, as we just fly away from the Ferraris and the, and, and the Renault there. Actually, Daniel Ricciardo's actually dropping a bunch of positions back there, getting overtaken by one of the Pink Panthers. Okay. What an opening lap, though, for us. Starting up in P6, moving up to P3. Never a bad day for us. I know the Ferraris in particular have had a lot of engine difficulties this season. Like, if you look at their car performance from the start of the season to now, not much has actually really changed. So it makes sense that they're a little bit slower, but I didn't think they would be that much slower. I mean, they are catching up to us 0.2 seconds behind as I pull a massive skid, try to break the slipstream, use some, use some rich revs. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, yo, Vettel can't overtake me. Vettel is not fast enough. That is what I'm talking about. The Ferrari is not fast enough in this game. For the moment though, we are not doing too bad. I will gladly take the P3. I have a feeling though, my tires are currently on fire. Yup, they are literally on fire. 108 degrees. There goes Sebastian Vettel as he tries to go round the outside there. He's just He's just a little bit slow, honestly. Oh, he switched back to the inside, actually. And we're able to hold it. Jeez, yo, look behind. That is a massive, massive train behind. We are definitely going a lot slower than these guys. Jeez. Use the rich revs, though. Use the battery up and use this big straight to please cool those tires down. They are getting so hot out here. There we go, though. We're not doing bad. We've already got it down to 103 degrees. Still definitely on the hot side, but that is definitely manageable now. Yo, look at that, though. Just through sector one, we're overheating the tires again. The soft compound tires are just trash around this circuit. I highly doubt we're going to be able to hold up these Ferraris all day. They are definitely going to get past us, but until then, let's put some distance into this car and see how far we can get. Well, we've made it up to lap number seven, and the Ferrari boys were unable to get past. I forgot about that new engine upgrade that we had to make our car more fuel efficient. Well, it turns out our car is now so fuel efficient, we can basically run in rich revs and not use any fuel. So I completely forgot about that. I was running in rich revs the whole time and they couldn't catch up. It was great. Coolest pit exit in all of F1. Down we go. Thank you very much. And we rejoin the Grand Prix in P17. Anyways, Nicholas Latifi in front of us who is hopefully gonna give us a massive toe down the big back straight here as we open it on up. Let's close that gap in. It is a Williams at the end of the day. Come on, come on, come on. He goes to cover off the inside. We run a little bit deep as we go late on the brakes there, but that is gonna work. Thank you, Nicholas Latifi for not completely ruining that one for us. I don't know how we don't get double DRS there. That's a bit annoying. Hopefully though, Nicholas Latifi behind can do a little bit of slowing down uh, for, for Sebastian Vettel, who's behind me as well. But hopefully as well, he didn't slow me down enough to allow Charles Leclerc a free pit stop. Anyways, teammate has jumped on into the pits. Let's see where we're gonna come out or where they're gonna come out. Round the final corner we go. There's one of the Ferraris who has stopped at his pit box. What seemed like forever. I think we just got away with a, with a lovely little move right there. No way, we go up to P11 behind George Russell, who's five seconds behind. And we've still got Latifi behind. The Ferrari is three seconds back. 
Let's go. I, I think we might have got away right here. Let's put some really good laps in. Let's catch up to George Russell. Those guys are on old medium compound tires, so we should have no problem catching them up. Let's just... Let's close that gap. Yeah, it's already down to four seconds dead. Okay. Oh, there we go. Some more people in the pit lane. We jump up to P9 and George Russell 1.5 seconds away. Keep it up. And there we go. Just like that. Closed in to the back of George Russell. Half a second between us. Look at Sebastian Vettel behind as well. 3.9 seconds. That is mad. Yo, I can't. George Russell. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way, please. Oh my God, he's so slow. He is unbelievably slow. I've got to go. I'm sorry. I, I hope we didn't damage the car. We didn't damage the car. I also didn't damage your car. Lucky, very lucky. Oh, yo, look how many people are in the pits on lap 11. Back up to P4 we go. We've got Lando Norris of all people in front of us now. Okay, what well, very well could be our future teammate is now gonna be holding me up in the Grand Prix. Very nice. The pace in this NCP car is unbelievable. There goes Lando Norris as he dives it into the pits and we are back up to P3. Valtteri Bottas actually, 23 seconds in front of us. Mer just, just you know, classic Mercedes things. He's opted for the soft. Valtteri Bottas apparently pushing very, very hard after Lewis Hamilton to try to secure, I guess it's P1 in terms of the World Drivers' Championship. I guess for now though, we've kind of got nothing going on. Sebastian Vettel's three seconds behind us. We've got a couple of laps until our next pit stop, so let's just chill, put some distance in again until then. So update, it's currently lap 17 in the Grand Prix. This is supposed to be the lap we were gonna come in for some new tires, but I'm gonna hold it out one more lap. I wanna see, can we get lucky with a safety car? These tires have actually been working very, very well. And considering I'm, I'm in clean air and everything like that, I will go for one more lap. I wanted to make sure as well, Vettel and Ricardo behind also went in, which they did. So that is perfect news for me. So now we'll be able to go in on lap number 18 for our next set of medium compound tires. These will take us right the way to the end of the Grand Prix and more importantly, hopefully in a P3 position. So in and 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 in we go. Perfect. Do not nail the wall. I got pretty close there actually. On the brakes, pit limiter, no penalty. Past the safety car we go. So nobody's blown up their engine just yet. Okay. Luckily for me as well, it's a completely clear pit lane. So I've got no excuse this time. Come on, boys in blue. Give me a good one. 2.4 seconds stop with no sign of any stalling whatsoever. My teammate is also coming in. Nice little double stack there for the boys. Esteban Ocon runs past. That's not really a concern of mine because he's on a completely different strategy. He still has to go into the pits. Sebastian Vettel, though is behind 1.6 seconds, so. Okay, Akon, it is time for you to move over, buddy. Is he? He's not going into the pits. Are you joking? Are you joking me? Okay, I've got to use rich revs and use up some battery. He goes to cover off the inside. I'm gonna send it round the outside on the Renault. Lovely little move right there. A little bit on the off, off the circuit, but I'll take it. I gotta go. The Ferrari is gonna close in. The Ferrari is already closing in. Within a second already, that is not what I wanna see. Luckily, we're running away, we're running away. We no slipstream for them back there. And Sebastian Vettel is not gonna go past the Renault. Are you kidding me? Akon jumps it in. Vettel though, three seconds behind right now. That is not good news if you are a Ferrari fan. We've got seven laps to go. NCP boys looking good in the million dollar race. And just like that, we go onto the final lap. Sebastian Vettel is nowhere to be seen. We're gonna hold P3, providing the car doesn't explode right now. Vettel though must have had a massive, massive problem with his car because even Danny Kvyat is trying to overtake him, which is crazy. I mean, if you really think about it, what we accomplished today wasn't really that crazy because 
The Red Bulls were already at the start out of it, and then Charles Leclerc just doing something funky with his pit stop. That's three of the top guys immediately out, so we should be aiming for a top four finish, and Sebastian Vettel has just seemed a bit slow today. It's his final race in F1. He's retiring after this Grand Prix, remember? So maybe he's taken a little bit of an early vacation. Lewis, though, takes the victory at Abu Dhabi today. We will have to see who is the world driver's champion. However, more importantly, for the NCP boys, we do it. We bring it home it. in P3. That's as many really points work. as we're yeah, really going to get. So I, you got to be happy with a finish like that. Lando Norris, though, driver of the day, absolute champion. And Valtteri Bottas, no way, wins the driver's world champion. GG the Finn finally gets it done in the black Mercedes. You do not see that much clapping coming from this side of the Mercedes garage that often. GG, my man. What a race, though, for the boys in blue. NCP squad, absolutely amazing stuff. The question is going to be, though, was it the million dollar race that we were talking about standings wise? We finish up in P7 for the driver's championship. No complaints for me there. I'm going to call it best of the rest. But the big question, constructor standings, where are we going to be? We move up to P5. No way. We take down the McLarens and the tracing points. That is huge amounts of money. With that though, that wraps up the season for us. We've got 8.5 million bucks in the bank and we've got to go and sign a teammate. That is what we're going to do next episode though. So let me know what teammate we should look at signing in the comments down below and I will do my best to make it happen next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support on season one of our F1 2020. My team crew mode, seriously, it's been so much fun making this. Stay tuned for season two starting up very, very soon. See you guys then. Bye.